another video to you. Today you join us in Boss Castle. Yeah, we're going to go to the Witchcraft Museum, which I have a um, artifact hat that I found metal detecting. We're also just going to explore a little. We just had lunch in the Cobweb Inn, which is this pub. It's a spooky pub. Boss Castle has a lot of nooks and crannies. We found this cute little bookshop. Fade and bought a book on locomotives. On the 4th of August 2004, a flash flood devastated Boscombe, also nearly destroying the Witchcraft Museum we're going to visit. We just arrived at the Witchcraft Museum. The waters were said to go up to about one and a half metres high. It washed many of the artefacts away. Only after much searching, a lot of it was found, but some were lost forever. The museum was founded in 1960. Thankfully, because I donated an artefact to the museum, I can enter for free. The museum was first founded in Stratford-upon-Avon, but locals didn't like the fact that it was there, so it later moved to the Isle of Man, and then later on to Boss Castle. This is another charm for protection, and I chant this as I know the horseshoe to the door. Mummified cats like this were found stuffed into witches' chimneys, said to ward off evil. This is the amulet I found buried in a field whilst metal detecting. Here you can see a collection of witch dolls, or you may know them as voodoo dolls. The museum covers all aspects of witchcraft, from Christian witchcraft to pagan witchcraft to Ouija boards and more modern day witchcraft. Here they have a small section on Alistair Crowley.
Boss Castle is full of new age and witchy type shops, so if crystals, spells and that kind of thing are your thing, then you may want to have a visit. Please remember, the things I showed you in the Witchcraft Museum are only a fraction of what there is to see in there, so please give it a visit. Here is where the flash flood come in from the sea that swept through Boss Castle. 100 people needed to be shipped to safety and airlifted to higher ground. Thankfully no one was hurt in the disaster. The disaster cost millions of pounds worth in damage but the community coming together soon raised enough funds to fix the damage that had been done. Here you can see the flood walls that now protect the village from further flash floods. We're now going to take a walk up the side of the cliffs up towards the weather station. is I think a lookout station or a weather station we should be there in the next 10 minutes this here is where the wave flooded in and flooded the uh, half of the village Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that bell. Goodbye all.